YouTube, man. Welcome back to the channel. Mitri is back here with another video by the title and thumbnail. Y'all see what we are reacting to. 73 questions with Lord. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Road to 20K is on the way. Make sure you leave a like, man. And let's get into the video. Man, melodrama hey, was Hi. amazing. So why don't we explain why we're in the Bronx at the New York Botanical Garden today? We're answering 73 questions. Yes, we yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And first question, where... By the way, Supercut and green light still suck to me. I'm standing on it. Now what? Now what? Let's talk about it. What you want to do? That's what I thought. Nothing. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Where is your favorite place to perform in New York? <laughs> I like the Apollo Theater in Harlem. That's a great theater. And what does New York do better than any city, not just in the USA, but the entire world? Tree to Maine, keep them cane. And when you're traveling a she far like away from school home, teacher. what do you miss about New Zealand? Literally every single thing, but mostly the beaches and the parks and the food. She's imagine. definitely introverted. And speaking of home, I heard you have a favorite song that your dad used to sing as a lullaby when you were a kid. What song is that? Uh, Moon Shadow by Cat Stevens. That's a good one. What was a job you wanted to do when you were five she years old? She looked like a librarian. I loved uh, The Far Side by Gary Lyle. Librarian and I wanted to be a cartoonist, which is crazy because I'm not funny. She, she does not look funny that. at all. I'm not gonna lie <laughs> so to you. So what was the first song you loved to sing? The Lion Sleeps Tonight. And did you Probably always? SWV Week. Amazing song. If you haven't heard that, go listen to that. Please know that you wanted to be a solo artist? I did. What surprised you the most about pop stardom? That's... Right when you can afford to buy anything you want, you get given everything for free. What? It doesn't make any sense. Don't give us free stuff. <laughs> right? Sounds pretty good. This is so Get beautiful. the broke niggas It's gorgeous free. here. Wow. I know. So when did you realize that Royals was going to be such a big hit? Royals? The first weekend we put it out. I, don't, I don't um, think I heard that. I went on the SoundCloud and all these people who I didn't know were listening to it. Mm. And I think I realized this is bigger than just me and my friends. It was a lot bigger than just you and your friends. And what was it like the first time that you heard it on the radio? How cool well, is that? Well, I was in my parents' living room. My sister had called the radio station to request Hearing it. Hearing a song on the radio. And I felt very proud, but very shy. You have a lot to be, <laughs> you have a lot to be proud of. And what emotion is central How to pure How old is heroin? she? If y'all don't mind me asking. Teen angst. How about melodrama? Ecstasy. Liability. And you went from writing about... Liability off of melodrama? Oh my goodness. E on your first album to I on your second. Why was that change so important to you? Um, the first album was so sort of communal. It was about me and my peers. Hmm. The second one was really just you gotta react to some more about her. my experience. What's your favorite song to perform Y'all enjoyed her on the melodrama? Channel. Green Light. Green Light song. And what sample on the album still makes you smile? Um, I'm standing on it. There's a tiger's roar that we heard in Sober, uh, but I also love Paul Simon saying, what is this tape? This is my favorite tape. <laughs> so, Lord, you have synesthesia. Yeah. So what color is pure heroin? What the hell does that mean? Green. What color is melodrama? I don't know. <laughs> Violet. What color is solar power? Gold. Let's keep moving. It's a beautiful day. We got so Comment much to say. Comment what album you want me to react what to. What is one word you would next. use to describe the new record? Reverent. And what is one word you would use wow. to describe making the record? So cool. It's so Yeah, that, I know, it's that gorgeous. does Zany. look amazing. Acid. Yeah, the word I would use to describe making it, um, calm. And one awesome detail is that there's cicada sounds on the single. She make me Are feel so calm. We're going to hear a lot of cicadas you know? throughout the whole record. You actually will. I started recording cicadas a couple of years ago in New Zealand. They really sound like a New Zealand summer to me, um, but I didn't know about Brood X at the time, so I'm ahead of the trend. She sang like a so really nice video. <laughs> so what will the videos for Solar Power add to the whole record? They help to build the universe. And speaking of videos, I struggle a bit on Google Maps, but are there any hints on where we can find that secret beach that you filmed on? No. <laughs> she said, I thought, I no, thought Sersky. <laughs> All right, so you chose the Kalina Strata set for your Solar Power video. Why did you mm, pick that? We gotta watch that. I thought it was youthful, but cool and timeless. Damn, we gotta watch some music I knew videos, I wanted to wear man. yellow. I mean, I think a lot of people wanted to wear yellow because it sold out after the video was premiered. I heard about that. It's crazy. And what do you hope those people do with their summers? Make out. 
Her freaky ass. <laughs> Lord has spoken. How has your style changed since Pure Heroin dropped? Um, I would say I wear less black, although I am wearing black. She said I start putting that shit on Can more. Can you describe your style? <laughs> <laughs> Can you describe your style today in three she words? She start putting that swag on more. Um, meticulous construction, sandals. Okay, that's unique. <laughs> and what item of clothing do you always have on hand? Okay, meticulous sandals. Sandals. And what singer, living or dead, has the best style? Michael Jackson. David Bowie. That's a good answer. Now, what item of clothing Prince, would you maybe. say makes you feel most Depends confident you when you're taking the stage? Pants. And what about in real life? Suits. What was the first song Wait, that made on, you cry? Item of clothing would you say makes you feel most confident when you're taking the stage? Pants. And what about in real life? Suits. Type shit. What was the first song that made you cry? That's, that's different, though. For Perfect Day by Lou Reed. I'd never felt anything like that before. Song that made me cry. Every time I think of that song, song I that almost made me cry. Probably something off of folklore. If you go back and watch that video, you might see it. But I ain't gonna tell you which song. You just might have to just go, you know, go ahead and do your research. Man. Drinking sangria in a park. Yeah. And who is the first musician you met that left you totally starstruck? Never. Honestly, Taylor. No surprise. <laughs> And what album have you listened to the most this year? I've spent a lot of time with Abbey Road. If I had to pick one album that I've listened to the most this year, like the most though, like, man, this is like, probably, probably Take Care. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's a good mm. one. That's a really, mm. Abbey, Abbey Road's a really, really good one. And what is the album that you understand on a different level now versus when you were just 15 years old? I thought about this and I feel like I had a pretty good handle on everything Probably I liked views. when I was 15. Mm. But mm. I'll keep thinking about it. Okay. Probably views. And Graceland was a major influence on melodrama, right? Yeah. And what was your favorite song off of that album? I mean, Graceland or Homeless. Now, people were surprised that Don Henley also was an inspiration for you. Who is an artist reference on Solar Power that might surprise them? Natalie Imbruglia. Yeah. Never heard of her. And what is the best concert you've ever been to? Never been to a concert. I want to say Arcade Fire at Coachella. Mm. I was 17 and I was in the crowd. She don't even look like a party type of girl. And I've never seen anything like it. It was incredible. They are tremendous performers. Very good. And uh, what is the song that you wish you'd written? Grace Lily by Lil Wayne. Who's an artist that you're dying to collaborate with? I kind of want to talk to Harry Styles. I do too. Yeah, I've been mentioning Harry Styles. Harry Styles can not come to the channel soon. Just be patient. We got people to react to, people. And I'm just one dude. These are a lot of albums. <laughs> <laughs> and what is the best album cover of all time? Chief Keef, Back from the Dead 2. All things must pass. What's the most important thing that you've learned about producing your own music? Damn, she produced her own music. That's fire. To always That's fire. trust my instincts because they're always right. Now, speaking of producers, what's the best advice that you've ever gotten from Jack Antonoff? Once he said- Jack! I ain't even gonna talk about you, twin. <laughs> to me, don't let me ruin your life more than I already have. <laughs> oh, that is valuable. He's a nut. <laughs> he, he's a nut. <laughs> and what's the one I rule of pop did. music that you never, ever break? I don't know if there's any that I would never break, but kind of a personal rule is if I'm not feeling that special alchemy when I write a part, yeah. it's got to go. Even if it's right on paper, it's got to go. Right, right. And what do you think your fans would see as the most surprising thing that you bring with you when you're on tour? Expensive sheets. <laughs> and what were you most vulnerable sheets? on stage? Oh my God, I say had this <laughs> really bad chest infection on tour in Europe once and uh, the I was in Oslo, mm. the Norwegian royal family were there and I couldn't breathe and I started to panic. I just mm. felt so kind of broken Damn. and raw. That must have been probably scary as really hell. Yeah, but you got through it. I got right? through it, I'm still here. What don't kill you, <laughs> you make are. you stronger. And, uh, chest infection's gone. Mm. That's right. and, <laughs> And how do you get ready for a big or important performance? Um, I light a candle and I like to try and set an intention, think about what I want to get out of the show. Mm, right, okay. Right. And what song are you most excited to dance to off of your new record? California. 
I can't wait to hear that as well as every other song. We gotta check that out. Thank you. Uh, what did you learn about pure heroin while touring? That I had made an album that it was sort of tricky to dance to. And what about melodrama? I don't like the sound of that. I feel like she gonna have some beats on her that's throwing me off. I don't know. But we can check it out soon. Just be patient, baby. That I had made an album that it was really easy to dance to. <laughs> oh, good observation. Okay. Now, uh, recently I heard that you that stopped. Got me really you decided to stop releasing music on CD. Yes. Now, why was that something that was important to you? Because everything that I make physically, I want it to be something that I would have in my house, and mm. I don't have any CDs in my house. That makes sense. And what is something that you do to connect with nature every day? You know, I go for a big walk. I pretty much do this, but I don't look like this and it's not always this pretty. I find it so cool that you took a trip to Antarctica. Uh, what was the most That's important fire. thing that you learned on that trip? It's honestly kind of hard to put into words. I want to go to Africa one day. I feel like I got more of an understanding In Egypt. of the work that the scientists are doing there. Hmm. They're not trying to prove climate change. They're just checking out the science, taking the measurements, observing and telling us what's up. Um, yeah. And also just the raw power of but nature. But realistically, and life well, it seems absolutely beautiful. And what is a cause that you're most passionate about today? <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, beautiful. And what is a cause that you're most passionate about today? Um, things that affect New Zealanders. I think about child poverty, uh, bettering the systems that protect Māori, and our climate legislation. Yeah, that's really cool. This is such a dope Okay. Well. <laughs> absolutely love. I, Divine. I don't she know seems like artist, a super uh, duper smart lady. Who though. is your favorite living artist? Lynette Yadom Boatre. Chief Keith. And what's your favorite piece of art in your home? My K Donachi My painting. computer. All right. <laughs> and your mother's a writer, right? Mm hmm How would you say that this impacted you and what did this teach you about writing? Just that it's a practice. It's something you have to do over and over to keep being in touch. Practice make perfect. Now, speaking girl. of your mom, I heard that she holds on to all your memorabilia from your tours. Is that true? Literally everything. It's all in our garage. <laughs> now, do you know what you're going to do with all of it one day? or? I have no or idea. <laughs> She's going to sell it. <laughs> Good luck. Probably. Now, which friend of yours makes you laugh the most? My friend Francesca. And which friend would make the best fishing partner? My dad. Mm. Now, why would you say it's important for you to hibernate? in between creating records? Well, I just have to go and live my life um, so that I have stuff to write about. So Type shit. it's just sort of mooching and taking That's time. That's a good way to look and at it. what's that. your favorite thing to do while you're hibernating? Um, I like to cook and I like to be very available for my friends and family because I miss a lot of birthdays oh, when I'm Oh, look working. at that. That is what a, a very, nice very good answer. What a nice lady. Gotta do it. Now, you described your work as being a conversation with yourself. Are you ever surprised when it resonates with so many other people? Constantly. It's insane. Yeah, it means a lot to them. And what do you hope stays the same in your work as you grow as mm, a That's a good question. That it's still just me trying to one-up myself. Mm. Hit these sirens, New uh, York City? Yeah, I know it's the sirens. It's like Grand Theft Auto. I like that answer. All right, aisle seat or window seat? Window. Window for sure. New York or Los Angeles? New York. New, New Zealand York. summer or American summer? New Zealand. Restaurant or room service? Restaurant. Fleetwood Mac? Room service. With or without Peter Green? Um, <laughs> great question. I'm gonna say without, but with is also incredible. I'm hoping for a reunion tour. And last question, question number 73. Mm -hmm. Sunrise or sunset? Sunrise. sunset. And that's a wrap, thanks. Hey, sunrise is can fire. Can I it's ask you a question before we go? Key. Absolutely. Um, this is kind of a little weird, but I always wondered what the person doing this was seeing when they're doing this. Can we show them what I'm seeing? Oh, Is that okay? Yeah, I think it's okay. fine, but... How about we keep fuck? this thing a secret between you and me? <laughs> All right, Lord, thanks so much. Thank they you. They got a whole motherfucking crew back there, okay? <laughs> if you're new to the channel, though, make sure you subscribe. Roll to 20K is on the way. If y'all want more 73 questions, let me know. I keep dropping them, of course. Thank y'all for all the love and support y'all give me, man. This is crazy, bro. I've been grinding out albums, videos, you know. We just trying to make it one day twin, you know what I'm saying? But more videos on the way. I ain't got too much else to say. Me tree out.